Hi, this is Gary with MacBoss.com. Clip Tools version 1.3 is out. Let me show you some of the new features. MacMost and Clip Tools are brought to you by more than a thousand great supporters. Go to MacBoast.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Clip Tools is my free clipboard manager that you can get in the Mac App Store. Version 1.3 just came out and there are some new features I want to show you. Now the first new feature I want to show you is called Smart Files. Now Clip Tools has already had for a while something called Smart Clips. And you can put anything you want in Smart Clips. You could just put some regular text in there that's kind of permanently saved and you can easily insert it in text. But you could also include little functions in there like doing calculations or asking for prompts and then have that incorporated into the clip. So this isn't new. What is new is Smart Files which is the next submenu down. Smart Files are just like Smart Clips and they work exactly the same way except you don't create them inside of Clip Tools. Instead you create little text files and you put them in a folder, any folder you want on your Mac's hard drive and then you'll see them listed here and be able to access them. That way you could easily edit the Smart Clips as text files in an app like say TextEdit rather than editing them in Clip Tools. So for instance let's go and create a folder to hold our Smart Files. In my Documents folder I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call this Smart Files. You can call it anything you want. And in here I'm going to put a Smart File. Now I'm going to use TextEdit to just create it. It's the easiest app to use. I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to make sure it's a text document. There are no font features here at the top. Uh, if it's not, if it's rich text you can switch right here using this command. So it's already plain text. Now I can put whatever I want in here. So let me put some text like this. So this is just plain text. It's not doing anything smart. But it's still very useful if you want to have this file and be able to edit it and change it and all of that and then use it inside of Clip Tools. I'm going to save this and I'm going to save it to the Smart Files folder here. And I'm going to give it a name and the name is important because this is how you'll see it in Clip Tools. So I'll put something like Get Back to You for this and I'll save it. Now if I were to close this file here, let's open up another text edit file so we can have something that we could paste into and I'm going to go to Clip Tools. What I need to do in Smart Files is choose a Smart Files folder since I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go into Documents and I'm going to look for that folder there and Open. And now if I look at Smart Files here first I see a list of all the text files. They have to be .txt files. I see them all here and I also have the ability to update the Smart Files menu. That's important whenever you make a change like you add a file or remove a file or rename a file. You want to do this so that this menu can be updated. You could also jump to your Smart Files folder. So if you forget where it is located you can jump there and then you can work with those files or you could change it if you want to switch to another folder. But you've also got the list of all the files here. In this case this one and if I use it you can see it uses it just like pasting any other clip in. So now I can fill this folder here with all these text files and use them inside of Clip Tools to paste things in. Better still I can create ones that are actually Smart Clips. So they can use all those different functions. For instance let's do this. So here's a Smart Clip here. It's going to prompt twice and I'm going to save this into Smart Files and I'm going to call this Order. And now if I go into Smart Files and Smart Clips you can see it's not there yet. I have to update the Smart Files menu. Now when I go back you can see they're both there. So I can select Order and it's going to prompt me just like the Smart Clip is asking. I'll say that and I'll type that and you can see how it pasted this in like that. So it's just like Smart Clips. No real new functionality there. It's just that now I've got this easy set of files that I could work with and I could change what's in them. You don't have to update the menu if you just change what's inside the file. Only if you add files, remove files, or rename them do you need to actually update the menu using this right here. Now the next thing I want to show you is this thing called Repeat Paste. So what this does is it takes the last thing you pasted using Clip Tools, not using just Command V but using Clip Tools specifically and it will paste that thing again. So for instance 
let's say you do a calculation. So I'll go in here and I'll use Clip Tools, say Paste Calculation, and I do a complex calculation. 7 times 4 plus 6 uh, minus 3 and I can go on and on. And let's say I paste this in and I get that answer, 67. But let's say I realize, oh, that's great, but I also need that somewhere else. Well, I'm not going to do the whole calculation again. So my only other option would be to select this, copy it so it's in the clipboard and paste it. But I can now use repeat paste to do that instead. Repeat paste will look and see that the last thing that Clips Tools pasted was the answer to that calculation and it will give you that again. Here's another example and this is the one that actually inspired the function. Let's say I want to paste something into social media. I want to paste the title of this page, the link to it, and the description. Three different things. Well, Clip Tools has a handy function to be able to do that. I can copy the title here and then I could go and copy the URL and then I could go and copy the description. And when I look in Clip Tools now I could see the last three things are the title, the URL, and the description. Now let's say I go to a social media app and I want to paste all of that in. I could do it one at a time. I could also hold the Shift key down and this will group pastes. So if I select the third item here it's going to paste the third, second, and first items like this. And you can see that's a great paste into a social media post. I've got my title, I've got the URL, and I've got the description. But let's say I want to do that again. Well, I could go here to Clip Tools again and do the same thing. But with Repeat Paste I can just repeat what I just pasted in. And you can see it will paste those three lines in even though that wasn't something I copied before. And of course I could do that with just keyboard shortcuts. If I note that I go into Settings here and that I'm using Shift Command M as the Activate Menu Global Keyboard Shortcut. So now I could do Shift Command M and then Repeat Paste is Shift Command V. So I can easily paste something in again. If I need to paste this in 10 different places I could do it very easily after I paste it the first time. Or remember that Smart File we created? Well if I go back and use that Smart File again and it's going to be an order of 10 and it's going to ship on Saturday and I paste that in and then realize oh I need to paste that in somewhere else as well. I can do Shift Command M and then the repeat paste is Shift Command V and you can see it pastes in the last thing that was pasted by Clip Tools. So there's one more I want to show you and that's a new function in Smart Clips and of course now Smart Files as well. Let's go to backmost.com slash Clip Tools where you find all the information about how to use all the different functions in Clip Tools. And if I go to the Smart Clips section here I can see this new command. It's Reuse. The idea here is you can use something like an Ask or a pick that has you choose different items or even the random function. Something that normally you would use once and then it would be hard to actually use it a second time. You'd have to ask say a second time. Well, now you can use reuse to reuse that same thing. So for instance if you want to use somebody's name twice in a smart clip you could ask them the first time like this and then the second time that you want that to appear in the pasted clip you could use reuse called an ask and then the pipe symbol and one meaning reuse the first thing that was asked. As an example here I've got a smart clip that does this. So let's go in here and edit the smart clip and you can see it says do you need and then it asks how many items. And then it's going to say then we will ship you and then it's going to reuse that same thing that was inputted here. And in fact, it's going to reuse it again a third time right here inside of a calc function. So it's going to take that same number and add one to it because this is inside of a calc function. So if we use this, then it's going to prompt us the one time when ask is used, and we're going to type in, say, the number five, but then it's going to reuse that five here and then reuse it again in a calculation that gets us the number six there. So this really ups the level of complexity that you can do inside of a smart clip. So those are the newest features. As I mentioned before, Clip Tools is free in the App Store. It's a free Mac app and then once you've downloaded it you just launch it and then you can use it here in the menu bar as a standard clipboard manager. You can save clips. You can create these smart clips. You can paste things like the date and time. You can do calculations. 
all sorts of other special functions that you can do inside of Smart Clips involving text. So check it out if you haven't already. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.